Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. You cook and eat to celebrate Christmas. But you know that Christmas is in the Bible that you're not supposed to celebrate Christmas. All right, give me that. We're going to find it. He's going to find it. Jeremiah 10. We're going to show you that Christmas is a king's. This is the only Bible. You understand? Because the Bible is God give us. God give us this book. The King James Version Bible is our holy Bible. And everything that's written in it is for you and for me. You understand? You are the children of God. You understand? And God give us this word to give to you. You understand? So sometimes a lot of people they don't know it. But listen, this is what the Bible said. You have it? Read. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God. The Bible says all scriptures, all of this book was given by inspiration of God. So special man, God gives special man authority to write this book. Yeah. That's just I'm reading that Read it again. Read it again. Second Corinthians chapter two, chapter three, verse sixteen. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. The, this this version, the King James sixteen eleven, is not tampered with. Um, you have the same people who murdered us, the so-called Jews. Rudolph Murphy. He's a Jewish man. He's the one who is responsible for the NIV version. They will take out scriptures. Um, you would find scriptures missing from those books. The later versions, those versions are the ones being translated by our enemies. They change meanings and they change verses and they take, they take out verses. Do you know in the Jehovah Witness Bible, how many, is over 30 scriptures in the New Testament alone that is missing. But the King James 1611 is, is, is found to be the most accurate. All right? And, and it was translated, it was authorized by King James. He's a black man. Contrary to popular beliefs, King James is a black man. And we can prove it. But just to let you, let just to, as the brother is bringing, I'm going to bring him back up. But your history is found here, sister. This is your photo album. And this is what they don't want you to know. All right? Go ahead. Yeah. So it says, all scripture was given by inspiration of God. You understand? Read it again. One more time. Say, all scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. For, it's profitable for our correction. You understand? For our reproof. You understand? In righteousness. So we're going to give you one of the corrections now. What, you understand? In righteousness. In the Bible. About Christmas. Give me that. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 2. Thus saith the Lord. Who? Thus saith the Lord. So remember, it said our scripture was given by inspiration by God. So God said this. You know, this is what God said. Learn not the way of the heathen. So it said, learn not the way of the Eden. <laughs> eh? Well, on, man, that's who you're, man. Well, on, learn not the way of the Eden. So you want to know who is Eden? The one that I was in captivity. The wicked people that I was in captivity. It's their way we're gonna tell about now. Listen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. So don't this be don't be dismayed of them bombing and you see and the sign where you see them are flying up in the air and all kind of thing and the, and the stars and all them things. Don't, don't, don't be afraid of that. Listen. Arrows. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. The custom. So what's a custom? Custom is Christmas. That is one of their custom. Like we have Easter is one of their custom. So Christmas is one of their custom. So listen what they say about the custom of the people are vain. Listen. For one cut it, a tree out of the forest. So who cut out the tree out of the forest? What, what kind of tree you think they're talking about? All right. Christmas tree, right? Well, listen. For one cut it, a tree out of the forest. The work of the, of the hand 
of the workman with the hacks. The hacks, they cut it out with the hacks because back in them days, you know, them have hacks so them just go out and chop out the tree and listen what they're going to do to it. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. All right, hold well on. So them deck it with silver and with gold. You see the tree where them deck up them? See, where they? Yeah. Oh, you can't see it from here, sir. But there, there's trees where they deck. Where they deck with silver and with gold. What kind of tree is that? A crisp. Yeah. So, so what the Bible is talking about? Christmas tree. So read for it up again. Second, Verse, second one. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. So this is the way of the heathen. They deck it with silver and it have nothing to do with Christmas. It have nothing to do with God. You understand? Christ did not born on Christmas. Christ born in the, um, the, the springtime. You understand? Spring is the everything where, where everything start out. Where everything start. The beginning of everything. Right. You understand? That's the beginning. And it said it in the Bible. It said when Christ born at the beginning uh, um, a bib. And if you look in the look in um, you want find look in um, where dictionary ready if you find it a bib. You understand? But read that, read that, read that, brother. Read that. Read that. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them, for the customs of the people are vain. Vain, vain, vain. This is not good. You understand? So, so, so you understand about Christmas? You get, you get the understanding? All right, continue. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut a tree out of the forest. The workman with the hands of the work, the work, the work of the hands of the workman with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. This is a Christmas custom where they deck the tree with silver and gold. It is not of God. It is of the work of the wicked, the Eden, who was in captivity, who was just in slavery. This is not a way of our God. You understand? Read. Verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree. So they put it up as a palm tree because Christmas tree look like a palm tree. You understand? And they cut it and they deck it and they nail it with nail it with with um with hammer and with um, with nail. So it does not move. But listen, a lot of people they put Christmas tree, they put um, um gifts underneath the tree, right? And they said it's a big fat man bring it down to a chimney. You understand? And if you so read. Verse 5. They are upright as the palm tree. But speak not. You see, they cannot, the tree cannot speak. You understand? But your family or your mother or your father, yeah, they tell you that um, Christmas is, is, is we have a Santa Claus and the Santa Claus bring and put a present that you buy. Are you buy it? You, know? you must have, the, you must have the, um, the glory for it. You know? But you're not taking the glory. I'm going to tell your son or your daughter that it's a man give it to them. A big fat man come down a chimney. And we in Jamaica, we don't even have chimney. Right? Now say go. You understand? Read, brother. But they must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also it's it in them to do good. So the tree cannot do evil, nor it cannot do good. That means it cannot give you a present. You understand? And it cannot stop you from getting a present. You understand? So this is what the Bible said. Give me a hand, Proverbs 3 and 31. Proverbs 3 and 31. Yeah, that work. Well, I'm gonna get a law. I'm gonna get a law. Give me um um two to run me. I'm gonna get one law where you can't read it. You understand? I don't think about this when I go home. I can't read it when I go home. See, happen? See, happen? You can't write down that scripture when I go home and read it. Read it when I go home by yourself. You understand? And think about it. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So what is a woman's garment that man wear? It's a pleasure. No, a woman's garment that man wear. Eh? Yeah, man, man, man put on dress, no? All right, what is that man garment that woman wear? All right. So, so the Bible says, if a man put on a woman's garment, that is abomination. That's so, if a woman put on a man's garment, what well, that is what? Abomination, see your sister. So, the Bible is telling you, don't wear pants because that's a sin. It's simply, you know, 
The Bible tells us what to do and what not to do. Just like how the Bible says we must not we eat pork and we love pork. That's a sin, you know. Because, if, listen, if you do not do what God said, you understand, you're going to die. Simple. Gotcha. Simple. That's what we are telling you. So go home and study that thing and um, we have number on it. We have a YouTube channel. So check it out, alright? Yeah. So, um, what did I say? Must wear dress because that's what the Bible said. Woman must not wear pants and that's a law. So, what's the nationality according to the Bible? You are not an Israelite? No. Alright, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Are you a Gentile? Well, I was a Gentile and then when I gave my life to the Lord, I became one of his. One of his. So, God people are in the Bible. Yes. Say, so you know who's God people? Yes. God of His special people, you know. Yes. Not all people are of God. So, you have to know who you are according to the Bible. Because if you give yourself to God, right? And you give yourself to Christ. Who are you according to the Bible? You, you are God people. All right, let me ask you a question. I'm sorry, sorry, before I leave, sis, you're, you're in a hurry? Yes, I am. All right, because you say you're not an Israelite. On what basis do you make that um, assumption? According to the word of God, based on what he says. And which scripture? Um, well, I don't remember exactly where it's from, but it says he came not to Israel and he received it. Oh, okay. All right. So, is it that everybody, is it that all Jews rejected Christ? So, so it says he came on his own, came unto his own, and they rejected him. Now let's see which was the own that he came unto, and they rejected him. Um, John ten thirty one. Let's see because ah, you know the scripture. So they were the ones who actually rejected Christ. John ten thirty one. Is that it? Book of John chapter eight, verse thirty one. Then said Jesus to those Jews. Which believe on him. So it says, so there you have Jews who believed on Christ. So not all of them rejected Christ, right? Read. Which to those Jews which believe on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. So you have people following Christ up to his crucifixion. Now let's see which ones that's Mark 8 and 31. Now let's see which ones of them that actually um rejected Christ. 831. Mark 831. Because that's the deduction we have been learning Christianity that oh he came unto his own and they rejected him so he goes to the Gentiles read book, book of Mark chapter 8 verse 31 and he began to teach them that the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days be risen because the Pharisees had a problem with Christ's teachings. He was there to disrupt what? Because they were actually set up by Rome. They were getting benefits from Rome. They had certain um, economic privileges that they were not willing to give up. So they came and they are the ones who rejected Christ. But remember that Christ came only to the children of Israel. He did not go to the nations. Right. John the Baptist that went to the Gentiles. John the Baptist that went to the Gentiles. Sorry, yeah. Apostle Paul, and let me give you what Gentiles is it talking about? The persons that were what? Were, 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 born. were born Israelites? Right, in terms of they were from other continent nations, and they were privy to their laws and stuff. Oh. Praises, my sister. Yes, that's true. That's the Gentiles that Paul went to. So guess what? In everything that you're saying right now, it confirms what the Bible is saying. That the Bible and the preachings only went to the children of Israel. Because that is in essence what was happening at the time. They were going to the Jews who, or their, who were not following the customs as Israelites. So, But at no point in time did they go to the other nations. The scat the scattered Israelites. So, in essence, what we're st what you're still confirming that he was teaching just he was teaching only to the children of Israel. And you, my sister, believe it or not, you are an Israelite. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision 
The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.